Will Bitcoin continue to crash down? That's the main question everyone is asking on YouTube. Doesn't make sense in English, but that's what they're searching in the SEO. So that's what we're gonna look at in today's video, but I'm gonna show you my spin on it by identifying dates in the market that we could expect this. Now, we looked at this last week. If you guys wanna revisit the video, it was the one saying Bitcoin birthday, could it crash on this day? Now, I'll, just leave, I'll start you with this little piece from the video. You gotta choose what suits you guys best, but I think we'll see a top within this week, if not next week. Now, I've got a few things that I'm looking at. So, how did we find that out last week? I'm not gonna claim I'm some sort of fantastic investor, trader, whatever it is. It's really just simply looking at anniversary dates. That's all it is, and there are specific dates in the Bitcoin market that come up time and time again. A couple of them are March, middle, specifically middle of March, and also that middle-ish to end of December. Those times tend to be very significant in the Bitcoin market. All right, if you're just joining us for the first time, thank you for stopping by. My name is Jason Pizzino. Consider subscribing to the channel if you find value from the content. And of course, like the video up and hit that bell notification icon because YouTube has a way of shadow banning cryptocurrency content at the worst possible time. So if you wanna stay up to date with us, sure, hit that like button, bell notification icon, and of course, subscribe to the channel. If you're a returning subscriber, thank you very much, guys. You know the deal here. We're looking at technical analysis on cryptocurrencies, stocks, everything to do with our investment portfolio so that we're building ourselves financial freedom down the track or even now and just continuing to increase our portfolios. Let's take a quick look at the market caps just before we get started. First things first, market cap 929 billion on today, the 12th of January. Bitcoin's market cap 639 billion, call it 640 billion. Ethereum 120. XRP has done its move for up to 13 billion with Litecoin down at around 9 billion. So next thing, we're gonna have a look at the Bitcoin chart and I'm gonna show you the anniversary dates and then what to look for coming up. Day counts, yearly counts, seasonal date. This is all sort of stuff that I've been using on the markets for over a decade now, but I originally learned it from WD Gann. It's a legendary old school trader. This stuff's been going on for over a hundred years and it works time and time again, specifically in new markets because there is new money, dumb money, new blood, uh, people just running heavily on emotion and that's what makes it work so much clearer than the older markets, the traditional markets, which have now been really circulated around to a lot of people and there's just a lot of money in them. So it works very, very cleanly and that's what we're gonna look at in today's video. Now I wanna make it very clear at the start, we don't need to know the exact price at the bottom. We don't need to know the exact price at the top. We don't need to know the exact date. We just have to understand when these dates are coming up and to pay close attention to the markets. A lot of new people will believe that they have to get the exact bottom, the exact top, the exact pricing, the exact dates. Like the normal question that comes up is, what is the price going to be of X cryptocurrency at the end of the year? It honestly doesn't matter. All we're doing when it comes to trading or investing is just taking that lion's share out of the middle and whatever tools work best for us to allow us to capture the big chunk of the market in the middle, that's what we do. We don't need to sell the exact $42,000 top and we don't need to buy the exact $30,000 bottom, it doesn't matter. You wanna make profits and you're not gonna go broke making profits. So I wanted to make that point clear at the beginning because although this comes up and it's very easy to see in the markets, it doesn't matter, we don't need to call it exactly, we just need to be somewhat aware of these patterns forming. Okay, so with that in mind, I've got the first time here as being the 8th of January. So that's the top. The video, like I showed you, was put out on the 4th of January. And obviously I recorded it that day or the day before. Uh, so that leads us back to this bottom. This was the day where we had that first initial crash. So I was looking at a top being in the next week or so. I looked at the birth dates on Bitcoin and then I did the rest of my analysis to go back and see if we had turns on uh, in the market on or around those dates in years gone by. This is gonna be a lot easier for Bitcoin than any other 
cryptocurrency market because Bitcoin has the most data. And with that data, it can then show us uh, a forecast moving forward. So let's have a look here. We have 3rd of January in 2020. Now, this is something to pay attention to. It's what we look at as a swing bottom. So this is the low here. You can see there, this is the first higher swing low. So if you ever see me write first higher FHSL, a first higher swing low is a very important point in the market because it's a, a turning point to show that the market is finding strength a lot higher than the previous low. So this was uh, a very interesting and useful point to know in the market here in 2020. We've got to move up and although it wasn't a huge move, it was still a solid 50% that you can see there. Uh, and then from that point, yes, the market reversed. We had COVID crash, black swan event, and pretty much the market recovered the whole way plus more again. So if we didn't have the black swan, we could speculate and say maybe this was the low. I knew a lot of uh, people online calling that this would be the bottom around the December to January period for Bitcoin. And we thought we were going up from that point. We had our one last attempt that we could buy cheap Bitcoin and then those prices were gone forever. So this was like a blessing in disguise, but essentially this was a very interesting and helpful point to entry, uh, to enter the market. Then we keep scrolling back 2019, we had a top where the market turned. So it was trying to head up. And this top was another lower, was a, basically a lower swing top on the downtrend. That held the market up for approximately 80 odd days. Uh, yes, around 84. I have it written down that I'll show you in just a moment. But 84 thereabouts is a very good number as well because it's a multiple of seven. And I'll show you those in a sec. Multiples of sevens are very uh, important in any market because it's a whole week cycle. And so you could do 7, 14, 21, 28, 84, and so on. Those are very important areas. Now, this one is probably the most important for us to recognize. And on the 6th of January, 2018, let me know in the comments if you guys were around during the bull market and then the subsequent bear market of 2017 to 2018. This top, I remember specifically it coming in. And I'm making a very important point about understanding and remembering the emotions of those days because only then will you realize the significance of dates. And from this point, that was the last time Bitcoin was at 17,000. Next day, it reversed and the bear market really kicked into gear. This was the hope, this was the bull trap and the bull trap culminated on that point in early January. Interesting fact, the 5th of January is also a seasonal date in GANs counts. What, what do seasonal dates mean? They're essentially dates in the year which are known to have uh, very strong turning points. They've consistently showed turning points that are strong and they marry up within the season themselves. So we have equinoxes, we have solstices, and they occur on the 21st of March, June, September, December. Now, you can see that would have been an excellent time as well. That was a huge slam down in the markets. 2017, 4th of January, that was a good time to understand that there, yes, there may be a turn. Now, it wasn't the end of the bull market, but had you known that some point coming up in early January, there may be a significant turn, maybe you wouldn't have been scared out of your position. And what we can see here is a very deep retracement or a very, very deep uh, correction, I should say, from here down 32%. Are we seeing something like that now? Yes, we're definitely seeing a solid 30-ish, maybe more percent fall from our $42,000 top. So this shows that it was a strong time in the market for a reversal. We had the reversal 4th of January early on. It's it's fantastic tool to understand so that you don't get caught out selling your Bitcoin when these dumps come and then seeing the bull market run off without you. We just continue back. That was 2017. So I hope you're starting to see this. We get a significant turn here. 
some people may be questioning and say, well, look, there's a turn on the early November. There's a turn here in, in December, which we know there is usually turns. There's a turn here. There's a turn here, 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 all that sort of stuff. Yes, there are other dates which are also known for major, major turns. That doesn't happen every single year. So the idea here is that these dates don't always happen, but that they are prone to happening around these dates or on these dates year after year. It may not be the ultimate turn, but we know there could be a turn. And the point and how to use them is that it can help us not get scared and shook out of our position. For example, here on this bull market, starting in Bitcoin of 2014 through 15, that was the start of the next bull market. And had you got shaken out here at eight, $900 and had to buy back in, if you bought back in, great, you still made it to 20. But if you didn't buy back in because you thought this was the top, then you're screwed. You just missed out on the one of the best profitable markets of your lifetime. So this is just extra stuff to help us understand, just like price predictions. This is a date prediction, and then we just are aware of those times. So this one I have as a significant turn as well, because on this date, 16th of January, now we're at mid-January, there was a significant holdup in the market. The market bottomed, and we never saw that price again of $360 or a little lower. The market attempted to come back to it, never happened, away it went. So that's a significant turning point because the price never came back to that area. Market dumped at that time, came back, never came back. Now we keep moving across. We had the ultimate bear low of 2015. If this isn't getting boring to you by now, then it should be. The idea is to make something so simple it gets boring so that it doesn't scare you when it comes up. That's what trading's about. Everything should be mechanical, emotionless, unemotional, and take those emotions out of the market so you can easily make your trade decisions without worrying and then looking up on YouTube, Bitcoin crashing down now, how, what do I do? That's the whole thing about this. So keep this video on file for next year because we will see something at that point. It might be minor, it might be major, but right now, let's go back to these dates because there's a few left, 2015 the ultimate low of the bear market, right? Scroll in, zoom across, it's the ultimate low. Price never came back to that. And if you wanna see it with outlog, you wanna see it on a linear scale, it's, uh, it's very significant. That's a very significant low. And if you caught that, you made a lot of money. Next point, this again was very similar to 2018. So it's four years previous to 2018. It was the lowest swing top that led into the ultimate destructive bear market from the 2013 bull. This is the bull trap. It rises, catches you out. You're thinking, yes, we're going to go on again because that's all we've seen in the market. Unfortunately not. Crashes and the turn came on the 6th. Are you starting to see the pattern here? The 6th was the ultimate top of that point. That is the last swing top before the market tanked. All right, so the trend had changed. We had a massive correction. If you got caught out, of this fall and you're just waiting for the market to come back, you can see that this occurs. Probably somewhere out here would be a nice area to exit as the market breaks those lows. So this is your signal, this is another signal, another signal from the low, bull trap comes in, exit through there. Don't worry about catching the top because you've been buying in through the bottoms at around 70 to $100 on Bitcoin. You miss the top, but you get a lot of signals later and the looking at the anniversary dates helps you identify what's coming next. All right, we're gonna throw this back onto logarithmic. Move down to the 2013, January at this point. I thought maybe we won't see anything here, but on closer inspection, this was the day that burst all of these highs. It took off and that was a change in trend. Up until that point, the market had risen and went sideways for quite some time. 32 days on the 33rd day, it got the breakout. And so this can be used to be aware of the market on this date. That's the main point of this. There would be something happening at this date, small or large, either or. But if you are aware of it and you're seeing all these tops come in and nothing's going on, some volume is starting to die off, but the market's not dropping, what's happening? We get extreme volume pick up on the seventh, then on the eighth breaks all of the highs on extreme high volume. That's a signal to, to be entering. That's an entry signal in a bull market. All right, I think we have one more. 
and that's all the data that's left out here. I don't have data for 2009 or 2010 or 2011. This is the, the earliest data I can find for Bitcoin. So what we see here is the 12th of January, 2012, calls the market top. We go sideways and down for quite a period of time, probably about six months. So if we measure it approximately to where it broke through, 182 days. This is really important to note because markets tend to turn, like I said, on those 30, 60, 90, 180 days. So this time is very important for Bitcoin. Let's understand that and remember it moving forward that early in the month of January, early to mid January is an extremely important time because there it is the birthday of Bitcoin. So last thing, let's review all of those dates. The history of Bitcoin anniversaries to forecast future market turns. This is based on the January date and there will be other dates. So I'll make other videos on those dates. But for now, let's check out the January dates. I've got here important yearly cycles to watch for. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 7, 8, 10, 12, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 80, 90. And then it goes on from there. Obviously, we don't have any of these for Bitcoin just yet, but we do have a lot of these at the moment. You could almost say, well, that's every single year, but they're going to have different significance as the years go on and for different years, of course. So for like this year, 2021, one year ago was 2020 or say five years ago was 2016. And obviously for 2022, let's see what happened five years ago and that would be 2017. Important day counts, multiples of seven, plus a lot of these numbers that are found in the circle. So these are the degrees, 30, 60, 84 with multiple of seven, 90, 120, 180 is important because that's six months. 360 is important because that's one year, so it's one cycle, one circle, and uh, and so on. So divisions and multiples of those numbers. So like 720 days because that's two years. So these are all important points that we can use to predict time with. Just like we do with price when we break down the Fibonacci uh, sequence and we use those to project forward to figure out price predictions. This is what we're doing here with time. Let's have a look at a recap of those dates. Bitcoin's birthday, the first block was mined on the 3rd of January 2009. Bitcoin's first version, version 0.1, issued on the 9th, so very close to these dates, it's all within this time. And Bitcoin's first transaction, which went from Satoshi Nakamoto to Hal Finney, was on the 12th, and I believe it was for 10 Bitcoin. So you've got a lot of anniversaries and a lot of important information held within Bitcoin happening around these dates. So it's no wonder we see so many turns happen at the early to mid part of January. It's a very emotional time for Bitcoin. A lot of stuff happened at that time for its birthday. Just like we celebrate our own birthdays every year, we celebrate wedding anniversaries, we celebrate Christmas, Easter, we celebrate some of the, the more terrible things in life like 9-11. We know that it's going to be 20 years this year from 9-11 and there's going to be a lot of news coverage at that time, even though it's happened, it was 20 years ago, but that's what we do. So for the next two years from 2009 to 2011, there was no reliable price data. So two years, we don't have too much there. Next thing is Bitcoin major top, 12th of January. Now these are just all the, I'm just repeating the dates that we looked at in the chart. So 12th of January. The next thing was a major breakout in a bull trend. Important, major low top after bull top. So it was a major low after a bull top. Major bear market low, that was the big one there. 14th of January, 2015. That was the bottom after that major bull market from 2013. Bitcoin major low, 16th of January, major top, 4th of January, 2007. That was the big dump before it started to take off for that mega bull market. Major lower top after bull top, 6th of January, 2018. That was super important. Remember, that was the lower swing top after the major top and then the market tanked after that point. Minor swing top. Not as important, but there was still a turn there. Higher swing bottom, because this was at the this was at the lows, remember. This minor swing top was at the absolute low point for Bitcoin before it took off uh, throughout this next bull market. Swing bottom, 2020, that was a pretty good turn, not overly significant like the rest of these years. And at that point, there was still a higher swing bottom, which is a very important turn. Now we're at 2021, what do we see? We've got a major top, potentially on the 8th, a major low, potentially on the 11th. 
We've seen it drop from 42 to 30 grand very quickly in a matter of three days. Is that going to hold up? We'll wait and see over the next few days. But either way, now you can see that there was a lot of energy in the market at this time. And even if the 11th shows in the history books to not be the exact low, you know from your own experience how much emotion was running through the markets yesterday. Today's the 12th of January. Yesterday on the 11th, you know how much emotion was running through that market, even if we happen to get a lower priced low. Ultimately, that could have been the capitulation low, even if the price goes lower. Now I've just got a recap of one to 12 years ago with bold on the critical years that we saw, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and of course 12 years ago was the birthday. No data for 10 or 11, and one to two years, not as strong as the years gone by. My conclusion, early to mid January is an extremely important time frame. That's the video for today. Take note of early to mid January for every year moving forward. If you happen to be in these markets long term and you're not just a short term, short sighted trader looking to make money, those guys will always lose because they are not doing the research and they're just literally asking someone, what do I buy next? Is the market dropping? Will I survive? You will not survive if you don't do the research. It's just as simple as that. You're in the game of investing, it's money and people are going to put the work in if you don't. And if you don't put the money in, your money will go to them. That's as simple as that. So that's the end of the video for today, guys. If you enjoyed it, let me know in the comments down below. Hit the like button, subscribe if you're new to the channel and if you're here on the channel and you haven't hit the bell notification icon, do that and hit all so that you see these updates that come out. I don't only do price prediction and what is happening market crashing. This is the real data, the real research and maybe I've had to disguise it in some sort of clickbaity SEO but this is the real stuff. I'll catch you at the next video. If you wanted to buy some Bitcoins and other cryptocurrencies, I've got links to those exchanges down below. Go and check those out, Australia, International, all of the above. Catch you in the next one. Until then, have more fun to get more done. Peace out.